my Taurus. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your January 1st through January 7th weekly tarot reading. We will see what comes up. This may not resonate as it's uh, not a private reading. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. And I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. So it, it appears that there are some completions here, okay? It, you know, it looks like there could be a relationship that has ended or it will be ending. You know, with that Ten of Cups here, there's a misalignment somewhere. And it doesn't mean that it's a loving relationship. I mean, it could be between your job. It could be anywhere. You know, it could be with a partner. But there is a misalignment in your life okay and I think your intuition is trying to tell you something okay your inner guide is trying to tell you which way to go and really you're you're confused you're not sure what what to do should I stay should I go what am I going to do I've put a lot of work into this um you know I've really tried to make this work but it doesn't seem to be happening um it feels like right this week there's you're you're sick of it you're sick of uh having your guard up you're sick of defending yourself i'm sick of it i just don't want to do this anymore um so i think that many of you are just refocusing you're refocusing your energy maybe you're just focused on your job this week you know more so than love this could it, it appears that maybe you are trying to recover from the holidays you're trying to build your bank account back up Maybe there was some spending, some overspending being done. And this week you're, you're really focused on recovering from that. Um, you may be uh, low on your funds, put it that way. But you're still holding your head up high because you know you will succeed. It feels like you're mastering your emotions. You're moving forward. You're not uh, crying over anything. It looks like it's it's pretty positive. Um you know, even though there's not a lot of love here this week, it's not like, you know, it's not like you're not wanting love or you're not in love if you're partnered. It's that's not the focus. I think the focus this week is is recovering the pennies that have been lost, okay? Um, and I feel like, you know, in the past there's been some kind of deceit that you haven't quite healed from yet so I think you're still working on healing from something in the past so I think this week you know generally my readings are love readings but it feels like this week is really not about love you know it's I mean it's not that you're not looking for love because I think that you are you know I think that you're looking for love or that you know you might have a loving partner if you're coupled but your focus is on your home on your money on your finances, on your job, you know, just just focused on that this week. Um, some of you could be planning a move or planning some travel. Um, I feel like you could be you're thinking about a change. You're thinking about some kind of change, a big one, a big change. Okay, you're contemplating whether to to move on, to move to a certain situation, move to maybe move physically. You know, you're thinking maybe if I move, I will do better there. You know, it feels like your wishes aren't being fulfilled wherever you're at. You're feeling unfulfilled, so you're thinking about starting a new chapter, starting a new life. 
you're thinking about starting over, starting something brand new, taking a change of course, but you're 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 weary about it, you know, you're not sure. It's like you want you you're thinking about it, but you're 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 unsure about it. So I think this week it, it must be about contemplation and you're really going within to figure out what your next step. I see a lot of faith here, the need to have faith. Um, and there's there's also like a lot of divineness here, you know, like there's a divine connection, like you're doing a lot of asking for guidance from above, you know, just, just begging for the answers, you know, please give me the answers of what my next step should be. You know, I'm sick of this. I, I don't want to do this anymore. I want something new. Um, if you look at all the sevens, I mean, it's unbelievable. Seven, 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 seven. Sevens are a divine connection, okay? It's, it's, it's saying, you know, just, just to keep going and to continue to have faith, continue to listen, all right? Um, what you've been working on, what you've been praying for is coming. You do need to have patience. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Just keep working on it. Don't quit. Remember to have compassion for yourself, okay? Remember to love yourself. It's almost like you're working so hard that you're not taking time for yourself. You're not, you're not giving yourself any, you know, any love. You aren't loving yourself this week, you know. It's not that you don't love yourself per se, you know, in full, but you're not giving yourself any leeway. You're working too hard, um, you know, to the point where, you know, you could become overwhelmed, you know, um, so I just want to remind you guys to take a break. I think you might need to take a break this week. You know, you don't have to, I understand you probably have to, you know, bring the money back in that was lost, but you also need to nurture yourself and take care of yourself, okay? Because everything is going to be fine. Um, it looks like if you're single, if you're single, you know, you could have a new opportunity. Somebody could offer you some emotional support, and but you might feel like you don't have time for it, okay? You know, or even if you're a couple, this is the same thing. You know, your partner might say, hey, babe, you want to go out and do something or you want to, you know, or a partner or somebody might try to be giving you some attention, some love, but you're just like too busy to even deal with it right now you're too focused on your job your career your finances I'm gonna get some more cards this time I'm gonna clarify with the crystal visions deck um, it, it is time for you to um, to open up you know it's time for you to to open your eyes to all the possibilities you know it's, it is I mean to the possibilities of love it's like you guys aren't really seeing it this is an awakening but it's reversed you're not really seeing the opportunities for love because you just don't have time for it right now you know you're you're overdoing it in other areas of your life and you're putting love on the back burner and the, it's, it's, un, it's unfortunate because it feels like somebody wants to offer you some kind of support but you just you just don't have time for it right now. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer. Uh, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus. We have you, which is Taurus. We have Sagittarius here. think you're just trying to um, you know you're you're heading in the right direction okay you're heading in the right direction you're making progress but you're not focused on love okay even though love might be trying to focus on you you're just not giving it um, yeah See, there's that two of cups reversed. You're just you're just not focused on love this week. You're not. It's like, you know, I I spent too much money. I spent too much money and now I gotta recover it. You know what I mean? It's like you know that you did. You spent too much money and you're trying to recover the 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 finances that were lost. And it feels like you know 
it's like you got you know you're having complete clarity here you know that there's there's love to around the corner if you're if you if you're single it's almost like you know that there's an opportunity for love and you're just not acknowledging it you're not um giving into it it's like you, you just don't have time for love this week i'm you know i don't know what that is but you have you have this clarity i mean you know exactly what's going on it's like there's no confusion going on up there you have a clarity with the high priestess and the ace of swords it's like you know exactly what's going on here you know what's being offered to you but you're just not accepting it because you have to you have to uh, bring your finances back up, you know. You're trying to build that foundation back up that was starting to come down because there was some overspending here. I think there's been some overspending for the holiday season. And you know that, you know, for you being a Taurus, for you to be happy, you know, you, ha you, you, you can't be at this spot. You have to have more money in the bank account for security reasons. You know, um, I feel like you're not really focusing on anything but <laughs> but your finances this week and, and getting your, your whatever it is under control. Um, interesting. You know, you've spent, you've, you've overspent and, and now it's time to recover. And that's what I see. I mean, that's all there is to it. That's what I see. It's like, you know what, I can't quit. I can't quit. I, you know, it's like you could be working, overworking, work, 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 work. That's what I see. It's like work, 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 work. I just don't have time right now. You know, and you need to work to take care of your family. So that's what I see. It's like I need to work to take care of my family. You know, so you're just, you're just charging ahead. You're, you're on a roll. You're, you're bringing the money back in to recover what you spent. And that's what this week is about. That's what this week is about. It's not about, it's not about uh, a relationship. So this week is about money, and I have to tell you that I think that you're that you you will be victorious, okay, in recovering that bank account. That's what it looks like. Your hard work is going to pay off. It is. I mean, it is paying. It's going to pay off. All right. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to get you one of these. This is uh, Whispers of Love. We're going to try to get some love out of this. Mm. Oh, this is good advice. Do you want love, Taurus? Are you looking for love this week? I mean, seriously. That's what this card says. This card is actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. If you want love, if you want this, this two of cups, you know, this connection, this loving connection, you have to give it, okay? Your actions speak louder than your words. You have to give time to it. You have to, you know, be open to it. Express your love through actions. Somebody needs your love. Somebody wants your love. Perhaps this week, you know, you want, you want to think twice about how hard you're working, about all the time you're putting into your work, into your job, into your house, whatever it is, and show somebody you love them. Give somebody your attention. Anyhow, looks like this is what I have for you, Taurus, for January 1st through the 7th. It looks like this is a week of recovering financially, and you will be successful because I see that you are not going to quit until you are where you need to be. Talk to you later.